new tonight. The man accused of tying up an elderly couple in their home after breaking in now charged with manslaughter. Aubrey Lumpkin called 911 on himself in April, telling police he was turning himself in for holding the couple hostage in Green Cove Springs. Clay County Sheriff Michelle Cook says Lumpkin told deputies he had murdered someone and had buried the person on the property. A few days later, investigators found a body. On your side's Kaylee Tracy now joining us live with those new details about how long investigators believe those remains were on that property. Kaylee. And it is a manslaughter charge. Appearing virtually before a judge Thursday, 46 year old Aubrey Lumpkin listening to the new charges against him of manslaughter and tampering with evidence. Investigators say in April, Lumpkin confessed to killing someone and burying the victim on this property. It is uh, apparent that the remains have been there for a while. The remains found on the same property as a home that Clay County Sheriff Michelle Cook says Lumpkin allegedly broke into, tied up the elderly couple who lives there with duct tape, robbed them, and held them hostage for more than two days. Lumpkin then called 911 on himself, admitting to tying up the couple and to killing someone. I'm a piece of I need medical assistance out here for this elderly couple. The couple's family says Lumpkin used to live in a home on the property with one of the couple's daughters, who neighbors say they haven't seen since 2020. According to newly released court documents, investigators found the remains of an adult female on the property. She has been identified, but the victim's family doesn't want her name released. Court documents say because of how decomposed the body was, the medical examiner's office could not determine the cause of death but did find trauma to the neck, left side of the face, and to the mouth. The documents say evidence links Lumpkin to the new charges, which the report reveals Lumpkin committed on May 1st, 2020. His next court date is July 11th. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.